Nagers, and welcome to the Piss Poor Parenting Podcast. Didn't you, doesn't somebody else say hello procrastinators? Oh yeah. Did Nerd. you rip that off? Oh yeah. But it makes sense, and it even works on the alliteration. You have the Piss Poor Parenting Podcast procrastinators. Oh, indeed you do. Because if you're on YouTube, you're probably not working. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty true. There are very take it few... from one who knows. Yeah. Well, I'm very well experienced in this topic as well. I as... know that too. <laughs> but if you're wondering who uses the uh, procrastinator thing, it's NerdCube. Link here. That's easy editing, so I do it a lot. <laughs> it makes it seem like I'm doing a whole lot without doing anything at all. Okay. You were gonna go. Well, I'm just thinking that ties in with the procrastinating. Just pretty much any way to avoid or minimize the work you do. <laughs> exactly. Do you want to go to bed? peek your head in and then go to bed? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> That's Ace. That's Ace, and here's Abby. Here's Abby. Yes. <gasps> she has <laughs> money. Okay, go to bed. Don't make me come in there. Oh, thanks. You're so sweet. Yes. Getting money for doing nothing. That's what just happened. And that's really the essence of YouTube, you. isn't it? Anyone who gets on YouTube and creates a channel Jack, for YouTube is just looking for money. Anyone, really. Yeah, so if anybody wants to send donations. It's fine. We need a PayPal button. You know you can do that, right? You just make a little PayPal button and they can click on it and send you money. I don't care to click. I've seen that happen. On, on YouTube? You can't do it on YouTube. You have to HTML that stuff in. Why can't you put a link in the comments on YouTube? Because no one's going to send any money. I'm just saying it can be done. <laughs> okay. Okay? Am I wrong? It can be done, but you haven't okay. even linked this Thank to you. your bank account yet. I have a PayPal. If somebody really wants to, if you really want to send me money, write a comment and I'll tell you how to make it happen. Because <laughs> Josh is having to do DCIs and... Oh, how much so money is that? She expensive. she did the money here, so. So DCI Drum Corps International is a very prestigious. It's like competitive marching band. Some people play baseball, football. This is competitive marching band, so you have to try out. Blue Devils. No, we're we are uh oh. Crossman. Crossman. There you go. Crossman. He's mm -hmm. auditioning for the Crossman. Since he's a sophomore, um, you can uh, audition anytime after your freshman year in high school. Um, so he's pretty young to be auditioning, um, so we're just paying, I'm just paying for one audition. I should probably do three, um, to increase his odds of making it, but it's expensive. The Crossman, now every course is different, but the Crossman, it's $100 to register, just right out, out the gate. Then it's $100 for the first audition camp, and you have to get him to Dallas. We're in Tulsa. The next month, if he makes that, if he gets a call back, he goes to San Antonio for the weekend. Another hundred bucks, and I gotta get him there and back. They do want to send him back, I suppose. Lame. And then, if he makes it past that, then he goes to spring camps, which once a month he'll go to San Antonio. It's another hundred dollars for every camp, plus transportation. Then, then, if he makes it, if he makes the cut, which would be amazing, um... It's about $3,000 for the summer for him to travel around. Um, they sleep in high school gymnasium floors and that type of thing, but they feed them all summer and take them and they perform and they compete, and you can go watch them. Um, if he makes it, trust me, you're going to hear about it. It'll be here, and I'll tell you where you can go see him um, because that'd be so cool. Uh, it's going to hurt my editing skills here because you're going to say here, 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 and here, and I'll have I to make am. a list. I'm make, like, you're uh, going to have to. It'll be so much fun. That's all right. That's fine. But anyway, that's why I could, if you want to send me money, it would go to a good cause because it would be amazing. It would be amazing. Well, Josh um, doesn't suck. No, he doesn't suck. That's, that's high praise for my little brother. Well, no, that's the Katusa band motto is because every time that you tell someone that they're good, move your phone so you're not dripping on it. Every time you tell someone okay, that they're mom. good, yeah, I know. Every time that you're good in high school band, your band director will say, wow, that's really good. The very next run you do, you mess up entirely on. Like, just retardification process of, I did good, let me try now. What instrument am I playing? 
Like, that's the level. So No more tea. No. So now in the high school band, and sometimes in the middle school band, they'll be like, good job. You still suck. Yeah, like, good job. Because yeah. as soon as they uh, get the big head, it's all... Josh is a little cocky, which little. worries me. Um, but he's good. And confidence counts for something, you know. But cockiness counts against him. Um, but if you get hung up because you're nervous yeah, and that's the big intimidated, um, I think a lot of people choke because of that. So his confidence may getting past that hurdle. And he's he's worked with the music enough to realize it's hard. He did tell me that. So hopefully he's taking it seriously and practicing. Um I don't know. I don't know. Uh, at last check a couple weeks ago, there were already 85 baritones pre-registered to audition across the three camps. I don't know how many they take. That would be good information to have. I know. I forgot to ask. I don't know. Um, but that's a lot. I mean, if he makes it, in my opinion, if he even makes a callback, it'll be amazing. Because that's a lot of freaking baritones. Okay, so the blue cross, the the Blue Devils have five shoulder cannons and around 10-ish baritones that fluctuates. I'm thinking the Crossman has to be around the same thing. Probably. Probably. So, not but, great um, odds there. On the, on the nervousness thing, that's something that she probably doesn't have a whole lot of experience with a brass instrument. I, you played like the cello or something. I played you? the cello for like one year. It was horrible. Oh, uh, She was awesome. Music. She was like a... Uh, she, duh... The, what do you call a master or something? Uh, master? Wow, no, no, no. Uh, There's a word. Prodigy. Mm. Mm. That's killing me. I can't think of what it is. Either way, uh, she, she was amazing. You should see her. She can do like every song ever in just twi twice the speed. Yeah, mm-hmm. She still has her cello. She's playing it with her feet right now. <laughs> Insert cello music here. There's no cello music. There's orchestra music, but... There's cello music. Very rarely can you get specifically only cello music. At least royalty-free, it's impossible. I trust you. Make it happen. You're gonna get orchestra music. You're not gonna get cello music. Because I can't... Where are you gonna find free, just cello music? Cello music. Google it. Cello solo. Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, Sorry for the distraction here. I'm currently taking a cake order. Um, and I failed to hit send. Thank you, Jacob, for the save there. She's old and senile. Wow. Oh, I'm kind of old and 40. Been a lot of squirrels recently. So, <laughs> back to YouTube and making money off that. We were, she, she doesn't like me being on YouTube as much as I am, honestly. It's all he does. I mean, really? If you're spending your time watching someone else play a video game, that's even worse than playing a video game. You're not even developing hand-eye coordination. I mean, for God's sakes. Shell out the $60, Mom. Get Sometimes I do. I buy you a lot of games, and you scratch them, and then they don't work. And that's, so why they I offered you the that's why I offered you the alternative of the online store, which is just the better in the future, really, and it also lowers prices because you don't have to pay for the physical copy. Don't yell at me. Am I? Mm -hmm. I didn't mean to yell. Isn't my cup pretty? It is. It's pretty, right? It came from an antique store a hundred years ago. Yeah, Squirrel sold it to her. <laughs> <laughs> Before I have to sub out of that, I said it real quiet like, but... Anyway. I wanted to discuss, to really give insight to those who don't do YouTube as a professional career... Uh, as in watching it for a professional career. Yeah, I was career. like, you don't even make videos, you just watch it. Yeah, I watch videos all day, and it's all Yahtzee19, link here. Or it's, uh, NerdCube, link here. I've, I've the plugged them one. in every single... Yeah, at least eight times in the... every video. So that tells you how They're much good. his life focuses. It revolves around these stupid videos. Which... Much like what you're watching at, only they are actually funny sometimes. Um, us, not so much. Our, our first and second ones were amazing. Yeah, you know, yesterday's was a little... I was tired. I work all day, then I had class. I was tired. Courage in a cup. 
I'm not drinking whiskey. I'm drinking I coffee. Know, I was like, <laughs> I know we call it piss poor parenting, but I'm not that. <laughs> you keep vodka out a fair bit. I know. Don't think that hasn't been brought up to. Why does the child have, my four year old just brought a plate to the kitchen from his bedroom. <laughs> he ran away like we didn't notice him. He's a ninja. <laughs> okay. Sorry. One, I'll that in something that you can't play in. Then I, then I, they call my thing. Then I come back. You did. You came you by when they. <gasps> oh, what'd you get a necklace for? From Miss Massey. From Miss Hayes. She's the principal. I'll have to ask. That's very exciting. I will ask Miss Kelly tomorrow. I will text her, okay? I'm very proud of you, buddy. <laughs> Go to bed, sweetheart. Those subtitles are going to be a pain. Yeah, good luck with that. Um, but I wanted to discuss, really, the YouTube and the merits of YouTube. I just want to point out, as a starting point, you gain nothing from watching YouTube. There is... Little to no value. It's purely entertainment. I still think it's better than watching just the scroll of TV or just sitting on your Facebook for hours like this one playing Candy Crush. I don't play Candy Crush anymore. Anymore. You move on I, to the I other one. Play she other plays ones, Diamond yeah. Digger song. Yeah, the I other play a lot of home mom of syndrome. Games. Well, you know, it's mindless entertainment. You get that. I understand mindless entertainment because that's what YouTube is. But I want to point out, I feel like the everyman doesn't watch YouTube as well as I do. <laughs> like, if they watch a video... Like, it's hard to watch, so you have to have some skills. You, you have to have a skill... You have, you have to... Let me let me go in. Let me do, delve deeper into my dungeon that is YouTube. Every man will just look up funny video or man slipping completion. Or, I've heard it called compilation, but I think it's compilation. 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 So I was close. Compilation. Compilation. Broke dude named Ice Cube, straight out of Compton. A compilation. Okay, so most people Google for a, or look search for a specific video, yeah, and you just... subscribe and watch all, just like if you watch a whole season of Game of Thrones. It's basically it's a mixture of that. I have something on my lip. That's why I keep biting it. It's like sugar or something from my coffee. It's a lot more. It's a lot more daily, so I th I think of it more as like a daily magazine subscription. You open it and like for like instance, reading the newspaper. Yeah, there are some informational things. Like I watch SourceFed and they're funny news. Like okay, I did like SourceFed when I heard them talking the other day. They, it was pretty funny. They were they were funny, but I also watch their cable talks, which is basically what we do, but with they have a bowl of topics that they pick out and it's like a question. Hey, that's a good idea. Upcoming to <laughs> Um, we should say that if you do have any questions, you send them in because we are running weird out. Viewers that we have, if you have questions or topic ideas, I would love to see what people come up with, and we'll answer them all. Yeah, not necessarily honestly, but we'll answer them. We'll answer them all. No, I I will delve to try and answer them all fully. You will endeavor to answer them fully. You're right. <coughs> of course I am. You always are. Did you know that in the last video when you were correcting me on that word, what was it, churlish? Mm -hmm. I edited your audio out. <laughs> I just edited it out. <laughs> but did it come down to I was right? Yeah, it did. I, I gave you that, and I gave you a bit at the end where you read it off. But I just, in the words too, I put in, what's that? It's nothing except for the squealing of a traitorous hog. And that's, <laughs> or swine. I use swine. You're swine. It's cooler. Call a woman any type of large animal. A gazelle, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna have to subtitle that in, which means I'll <laughs> get Jackson out of this very quickly. So every man just looks up something and watches a video, and then you know if the if that's all they want to do, then they just do that, or or they click on the next one that looks kind of funny, and they just do that. Mm -hmm. Which but, um, it is a time suck, even using it that way. Because mm -hmm. you go down the rabbit hole. You start with the one thing you saw, and you're like, oh, I better see what they're talking about. And then next thing you know. It's two in the it's morning. straight no chaser videos for days. <laughs> it's just your life. 
It is. If you had an autobiography, that would be the title. Straight of eight chaser videos for days. Mm -hmm. uh, the way that mom... if my life had a soundtrack, though, it would be yakety sax. It totally would. <laughs> it totally would. We're That's a royalty free like, music. <laughs> That's going on. That's going on in this post. That's my life. If you just ever wonder, hmm, I wonder what it's like to be a single mom of five kids. Just play that music and just really feel it for a second, and that's my life. And break a couple of things. Well, yeah. And then, like, shell out $100 each, and then have mm -hmm. someone want to go to DCI. Yeah, then somebody just, yeah, just have somebody steal all your money, and, and that's about it. Yep. You're that's not fine. in the video. You need to go play. Or go to bed. Okay, go on. Squirrel. Okay, then go on. Squirrel. So the way that mom uses YouTube, because she spends all her time on stupid little king uh, stay-at-home mom games. I don't play the king games very much anymore. Ooh, what have you moved on to? Um, no. Uh, I play Cookie Crush. It's SGN. I don't even know what that stands for. But they have a couple of games I really like. They they it's make legitimate the thing. they make legitimate games SGN like they make games that I used to play online. Is this their logo? Let me pull it up and you can see. That's who I'm playing. I don't know. Well, that's yeah, know that's their froofy little yeah for this game. That's their froofy one, but yeah, the SGN makes legit no. It's Cookie Jam, by the way. But oh, sorry, Cookie Jam. But um, whatever it is, I like it. Yeah, and that's what she does all day. So if she ever uses YouTube. She really just uses it as like a cake information site, or that one. I of do them. use it for cake instructional videos, and but I you use artsy more than that, or whatever. Craftsy, craftsy, <laughs> artsy, craftsy, artsy fartsy, whatever. Yeah, it's all the same, um, really. Yeah, if I'm gonna, well, the first my first source if I'm gonna look for a video is my cake school. You totally need to link that. <sighs> I um, won't. You need to. I won't just because I don't want to. Well, you need to. It's not even gonna be hard. I just won't. And then um, I'll look on YouTube for cake videos, but I also use it for music, like if I'm at work, um, yeah. because I can I can pick and choose and set a playlist. Um, on so YouTube? I like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, my mind went you were gonna make a playlist and then just do that. That's not you picking. Okay, Re disregard me, and that's I do often, as you would. Uh, um. How, how would you describe my YouTube? How, how do you think that I do it? You just sit there on the same channels and watch all of them over and over. Like, not even just once. You watch the whole thing. Oh, that's, that's how I watch Yahtzee 19. And he makes hour-long videos, and he has like 42, so I loop those if I have nothing else to watch. But I do something. If I'm doing that, I especially got into solitaire for doing that for okay. a while. So I'll like throw them on and they're just hour long podcasts and then just set out your solitaire hand. and That's good. Mm -hmm. And you've already described yours. Mm -hmm. All right. So the way that I do YouTube as a, well, I can't think of the word. A I, skilled user. A skilled user, a very experienced user is I find a funny guy because mm -hmm. I base it on entertainment really. So I find, we use NerdCube as an example, I found one of his videos and I go, huh, that guy's funny. I click on another video of his, wow, he's still funny. I click on his channel and then if he still has funny videos, then I just click the subscribe button and then I have him. So if I click in the top right, there's like a cog button, I think it is. Mm -hmm. And then you click on my subscriptions, he'll pop up every video of his that he posts will pop up. And they, he posts one a day at a little past noon because he runs on London Standard Time. Is it really London, London Standard Time? No, but it is in my brain. All right, awesome. So, <laughs> so he runs on London Time, so he'll post around noon. And then uh, I just watch his videos as soon as I get home, and he makes anywhere from 10-minute long videos to he's made 30-minute to an hour long videos that he does. Mm -hmm. And it's just, he plays a different game every day and just makes jokes about it. and So that's really what I do. And uh, Well, if we had the technology, we would play games and make videos for them. One of these days, I'll invest in it, maybe, if we continue to make these podcasts and like it. Um, I can... If you want to play real old games, we could throw on some Harvest Moon, or we could put on, like, a... 
punch out or we could don't punch you out. any type of snes or nes i can run n64 but the buttons are difficult to do and that's and i can just screen cap that hmm. well we may have to play with that some then because we could do that oh um not hard. ouch um Let's see, what else? Seamless move from topics here. <laughs> Seamless, I'm telling you. Absolutely. You know what? Here's one for you, though. Uh, I'm a bad, bad YouTube friend. You're a bad girl. That's a song, right? I know it is. Don't even. It's not a rap anyway. song, but it sounds like it should be. Probably R&B. Anyway. Um, it is. I have a friend who has started vlogging is what she calls it and um she has a youtube channel and she's been doing some things and i just haven't got around to watching it because it's hard for me to watch it and pay attention at work um i can put videos on that are just music because i can like work yeah while and... that's going but to really pay attention and see what she's doing um i haven't really got there yet um so amy i'm sorry I'm gonna watch your. I'm gonna watch your YouTube videos. I am. See, that's where you click the subscribe button because the subscribe button is where YouTubers make a bit of their money. Okay, well I'll subscribe. You click that subscribe button. And she has like 500 subscribers or something. Oh wow! Yeah, that's it's not bad. like a real thing. Well, I have a friend who had a professional gaming channel who had like a thousand. Ooh. And that was that's gaming, but he did a uh, PS4 and PC gaming. I won't link him. No. Because, well, because he... No, no links for you. No, yeah. No more links. Just... <laughs> but, uh, no more editing. Lots of editing. But, um, he changed channels. He had one that he posted on a lot. What? That was my remote for changing channels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his old channel he did with the friends, we had to split all of his profits 50-50, which he makes like 50 bucks a month. So that's not bad. That's not, I'd take 50 bucks a month if somebody wants to send me 50 bucks a month. Yeah. So they would end up making like 100 and split it, but he wants to do it on his own. But it's been like three months and he hasn't made anything because he doesn't self... Promote? Uh, he, no, it's the word self... Uh, motivate. Motivate. There you mm -hmm. go. He's not motivated to do it by himself. So he rarely... So he rarely, really needed his partner. He so needed he his partner, better but... off splitting half. He got greedy. This is a all of nothing is still less than half of something. True. <laughs> you, just... you can think about that and come back to it. <laughs> yeah, I might need to. <laughs> um, what you want to talk about? We have a list of fluff drugs. topics. Drugs don't do them. Drugs are bad. I have countless examples of why they're bad. Even just. Everything. It's bad. It can lead. If it's illegal, regardless of whether you think it's harmful or not, it can take you down a path that affects your life in the long term that totally isn't worth it. Yeah. So just be the school board of communications here. Just don't do drugs, kids. Uh, here's something. They legalize weed in California. Mm -hmm. Or marijuana for all you, you people. Um, what do you think? Do you think Colorado, Oregon, and Washington, Washington. D.C. now? Yeah. Washington, D.C.? I believe so. I don't know if it's Washington or Washington. It's Washington Washington State. Probably Washington State. I don't know. They, I just will see. Mm, I, I'm pretty sure the congressmen already do weed with how much they get done. I think that's why I think it was D.C. because they were making that type of jokes, but I oh. don't know. We'll have to double check. Well, it was probably a joke like, who even lives in Washington? So it doesn't matter if you legalize it there. Right? Who's gonna know? Yeah, um, so... Here's the thing. My problem with it has always been it's illegal, and that's where you get in trouble, and that's why I've known people who nearly lost their kids over it. You know, it's not worth that, it, you no. know. Um, that's my real problem with it. It's not for me. I'm not into smoking anything ever because I just think it's gross. Um, but the fact that it's illegal is where I, I have the problem, and I think that's where you can ruin your life. Um, yeah. and, and I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. I mean, I literally saw this happen to my brother, um, where he lost a great job that he could have retired from and it altered the course of him and his children's life, um, over some fucking pot. I mean, really, was it really that important? You know? Yeah. Um, 
as far as it being legalized, I think it's great if, if the voters support it. Why not make some tax revenue off of it? That's and the thing. monitor it. You know what I mean? You can monitor the use and the abuse. And, and um, now I still think it's gross. And I still think you will kill some brain cells that most of those people can't afford to lose. <laughs> um, I mean, come on. But maybe there's green algae in it. Okay. You... Remember the stupid algae? <laughs> It's not green algae, by the way. That's it's something different. Well, what is what kind of algae gives you the stupids? Link to SourceFed post on it here. <laughs> I I can't remember. I, remember. I think they. I used, don't remember if there was a specific type that they discussed, or it was just they the used, fact that it, it. It's a specific type. It's a specific strain, and uh, they just. I can't remember the name of it. It's one of those froofy science names. <laughs> froofy science names. Yeah, I use the word "froofy." I think that that's like the least froofy thing on the planet is a scientific name. Like yeah, that's the you're opposite right, you're of right. froofy. Well, I, <laughs> like, like, fippy dippy, fippy dippy is the word that you should use for something like that, and that means that it has a bunch of different components to it and is needlessly complicated. Like where it's used is uh, SourceFed. They did a video and they were like, "I don't like fippy dippy ice cream," and that means that it has like almonds and cherries and da 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 and chocolate chips like rocky road is the limit if it has any more things than rocky road does it's fippy dippy so fippy dippy just means needlessly complicated okay fair enough not a word i'd probably use it's two words fippy dippy not a term i would okay, probably there you use go. why not it doesn't it doesn't fit my my style yeah because you do everything fippy dippy all right, so to drink her coffee, she has to get mocha creamer, mocha peppermint creamer. I got it for him. And sugar. That's stupid. Like, there's no reason to use that much. You're getting... Mm, mm. All you need is creamer. All you need is love, love. All you need is love. I'll stick with my creamer and sugar. <laughs> it's weird. Why need more than one thing? Because... Just, I don't know. I wish I could drink coffee black, but I just can't. I'm just, yeah, I'm not that hardcore. I can't bring myself. I know people who can. I know, I know a friend who drank like eight cups of black coffee one day, and I don't understand how you could do that. I'm not a huge fan of the would. taste. Why? Why would you do that? He was just, just dead one day. You people need to get a job. So, uh, mom likes to promote sweatshops. Uh, she's a big... <laughs> Child labor rules. There you go. Well, I feel like when you're 13, you could start doing... Maybe, Maybe not do the dishes once job. in a while? But yeah, I don't get paid for that. That's not a job. <laughs> I feed you most of the time, right? Yeah, except for all the time. I'm just except joking. Except for when it's breakfast and he doesn't eat that. Oh, uh, don't... We, they can watch that video, the video before this, that is actually titled Breakfast if they want to get into the politics of breakfast here. Not not a huge fan, a mm. huge fan. Although, you'll be glad to know that, that you were right. I had heartburn all night after we had breakfast for supper yesterday. I was like, oh, I couldn't even sleep. She made me and get I thought, her... Jacob was right. <laughs> she made me get her Pepto-Bismol. Mm-hmm. But you didn't even bring me the chewable kind. I'm sound asleep or half asleep. And he brings me pills so that I gotta find a drink. And You can just bring me the chewables? I couldn't find any chewables, but who needs a drink to do pills? Unless it's like a horse pill. It, it's a long one. It's not like a little one. It's like one of the long capsules. Okay. I'll and it's not that. a smooth, like, you know, the gel caps kind of slide down. It's like the powdery almost, like. So okay, I'll stick. give you that. I didn't yeah. know it was like that. I thought yeah, they're it would like be that. like... they stick. Okay. Uh, so there you go. There you go. So you, so you needed a drink in that instance. But for yes. the most part... But I knew moral of the story, if you were right, the <laughs> breakfast for supper gave me heartburn. Because I haven't been eating bacon. Because it's not really all that good for you. So. Basically, when you're eating and an hour later you have heartburn, you know you're doing it wrong. No, but that being said, oatmeal gives me heartburn, as does bananas and too much water. Bananas? Bananas give me heartburn. Horrible, horrible heartburn. Do you have, like, too much potassium in your system or something? I don't know. 
Um, and, and all the standards do too, like orange juice, too much citrus, all that. Well, Gives citrus would. That makes sense. Oatmeal? Who gets heartburn from oatmeal? That's you, some You crap. just said water. Water. Water gives me heartburn. It has been known to give me heartburn. She's lying. I'm not. Someone drugged your water. Which, by the way, I have a bone to pick with you. Do you know that I never once in my life had heartburn until I got pregnant with you? I just complicated your life so needlessly. I'm just saying. It's a... Screaming all the time. I'm telling you. In the line at uh... Brahms. Brahms. Brahms was the big aggregator. Oh my gosh, because, okay, so if you're nursing a baby, you're supposed to consume lots of dairy. So she doesn't drink milk. So she needs I to get her dairy. drink milk. Epic, epic podcast fail, Jacob. There. Okay. Move it away. <laughs> Good grief. Anyway, so I don't drink milk and... In order to get my dairy, you know, hey, chocolate shakes as good as anything. Actually, German chocolate. Um, so I would get in line at Brahms to get some a chocolate shake. And the child would start screaming like as soon as the car stopped, he would start screaming. And the Brahms was notoriously slow because he was born at the end of June. And it was busy and it was slow and it was one of the ones with a curb so you couldn't leave if you wanted to. And he would just scream. One day it was 25 minutes we sat in the drive through with Jacob screaming. That's where I got my good music lungs. Oh, it was horrible. Oh, you used to. Oh, such a screamer. Such a screamer. But anyway. Yeah, I, I apologize for the fail that I just did. I... Went to wake up the computer and I clicked the pause button because mom likes to have her computer off sleep all the time. Well, it gets weird like when you're used to watching what's going on, we're recording, and then it goes black. You think, it's gone. Where did it go? Just enter the void. Which you need to see Interstellar now. Crazy sci-fi movie. Oh, it, it was weird. It makes you think way too much. Yeah, but the problem is it'll, it's one of those things that I know I'll nitpick the crap out of. Like, really, teardrops drop in space, really, yeah. And stuff like that. Like, I will just pick the living crap Maybe, out of it. Maybe, but the concepts, if you can get past that, the concepts really make you think. You're like, ooh, what why, if it did work that way? Why Why wouldn't you just watch Blackadder? That did it way better. I Because I don't know what that is, and it doesn't have Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, look. Woo. I I don't care what he's in. Okay. Blackadder was this brilliant uh, TV show that like delved into at least the first seasons, the good seasons. Delved into what if there aren't aliens? Nothing would crush the human species more than just knowing that they're alone and there is no point to interstellar communication, travel, interstellar travel. Interstellar transportation, that's the word. Yeah, but it doesn't matter if there's life out there or not. We still need to look for alternative places to live eventually. <sighs> Quicker than it honestly should be. Because that's... Humans are stupid. We, we can agree on that. Yeah. We broke the humans. We broke the earth. That's the thing is people go, save the earth, save the earth. George Carlin has a wonderful bit on this. Look up George Carlin, save the Earth. But um, the Earth isn't going anywhere. Earth has been there billions of years before us, and it'll be here billions of years after. We're just a small stage in the Earth's in the Earth's life. We should really be saying, save the humans, because mm -hmm. if we make it uninhabitable for uninhabitable for us, so I mean the Earth will be fine. Earth will be here the for Earth way doesn't after. Care? It'll be like, eh. all right, <laughs> and but. Yeah, so that's why Save the Earth songs are so stupid, because they're not, they're not doing it for the Earth. They're doing it for themselves. All self-righteous activity is in one, shame, one form or another for someone else. For themselves. Like, uh, if you do community service, you're doing that so that you feel good for not doing more. 
Oh, you I never, don't know about that. You never root it entirely in making someone else feel better. It's, uh, no, I, w- I won't say everything is 100% about doing it for someone else. Of course, there's some gratification in knowing you helped. But people do things to help others. Yeah, so they feel good. Like, but I did my bit of service reason. today. But that's not that's the only the reason. Ma- that's no, I don't major. believe that. No. I believe it's the major one. No, because there's a lot more work that goes into it than that. And it's not... There are a lot of people who do that work and never get any recognition for it. On purpose. So it's not all about being self-serving. Of course there are people who do it and they want everybody to know they did it. But that's different. I'm saying self-gratification. Like, knowing that, like, well, I did my bit today. Well, I yeah. donated blood today. I did this today. as that's part of it, sure. What's wrong with that? I believe nothing is wrong with it. It's getting people to do good things. Hmm. I'm just saying we're running out of we're running out of topics to that can it's, easily be done. So I just and it's brought that also, point up. Well, that one would we could argue about all night anyway. But we've also gone over thirty minutes. Were we sticking it to thirty minutes? I thought we were. I thought we were too. So if which means if we were shooting for thirty minutes, you're doing it wrong. Me. 